Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a card game. Hey, today we're gonna to expand a little bit more on Boss Monster. Uh, did a review for Boss Monster, the primary game. I mentioned a little bit of some of the expansions, things that were available to you to keep playing to make the gameplay even better. Uh, but I wanted to keep going. So there's more stuff, more expansion packs, more accessories, more items, more things that'll make your Boss Monster playtime even more Boss Monstery. Let's get into it. All right, so aside from Boss Monster 2, obviously Boss Monster 2 is out there, uh, and um, I'll do a review on that uh, at another time. I'll put the link below in the description for Boss Monster 2. Uh, but that's a whole separate game, okay? It's like a whole separate game. It deserves its own video. However, there's several expansion packs, several expansion packs that we can talk about. Uh, the first one was the first expansion pack, which was Paper and Pixels. It was 14 extra cards. So it was a blister pack, it was a tiny little booster, right? 14 high-powered cards designed to shake up your game of Boss Monster. These explosive new cards are known to be highly hazardous to hapless heroes. Next came Tools of a Hero Kind. I mentioned that in my previous video, but I wanted to expand on it a little bit more. This is a 25-card mini expansion for Boss Monster with the introduction of brand new item cards. Now, tools of a hero kind will transform the adventure exploring of your dungeon. Your heroes will go from just being like these hapless heroes that wander into your dungeon, and they'll turn into an undeniable threat. You're going to see magic weapons, armor, items, scrolls. They'll all attach themselves to heroes and epic heroes as they come into town. Of course, with bigger risks, come bigger rewards. Should you manage to defeat a hero and they're carrying an item, you'll be able to use that one-time reward effect uh, to further your own goals. So briefly how tools work, you attach uh, your item to a hero or epic hero during the town phase and they attach by like treasure type. So there's a treasure type on the item, you attach it to the first hero that has that same uh, treasure type, and, and, if, and then, then depending on how many tools you draw will depend on how many players there are playing. And the tools act like a special move, okay? They act like an upgrade. If the hero wounds you, uh, then they get turned upside down in your score area. But if you win, right, if you defeat the hero and you now claim them as a soul, you leave one of those tools right side up. Now you can't leave them all right side up. You have to only leave one right side up. And then below uh, the movement or below the enhancement for the hero, there's another box for the enhancement of the boss. And this will act as a special move for your boss. And it's kind of similar to a spell card. So the next expansion pack was Crash Landing. This was an alien vessel that crash landed into the land of Arcadia, and it brings with it a whole bunch of new cards. And what this will do is it'll expand Boss Monster to five to six players, and it introduces a new set of science fiction themed bosses, heroes, and spells all wrapped around a new treasure type. The new treasure type is a laser gun, okay? And uh, as you play this, it's gonna allow you to uh, just kind of upgrade everything. So not only are, are you now at five or six players, but you also have a new treasure type. And here's the way I play Crash Landing, okay? And this is just my advice, you don't have to take it. I put Crash Landing with Boss Monster 2, and I have no other expansions with Boss Monster 2 at all. If I add Crash Landing to Boss Monster 1 with all my other expansions, it kind of gets lost. And there aren't really enough of those laser gun treasure types to kind of, you know, make itself work. So I added Crash Landing to Boss Monster 2, thus adding extra players for Boss Monster 2 and an extra treasure type, and I think it works over there. And then the most recent expansion, at least uh, since this video, is Implements of Destruction. The gloves are off. The gauntlets are on, you're gonna get tons of new cards. You get five new bosses, 24 new items. It's playable with Boss Monster, Boss Monster 2, and it includes Explorer items for your five to six Boss Monster crash landing games. All right, now in my previous Boss Monster uh, review, I said that Boss Monster was a card only game. There was no dice, there was no counters, there was no anything else. Let's change that. Because <laughs> now with the addition of all the expansion packs, you actually do have dice encounters. And so let's talk a little bit about that. Um, you're gonna get two things. You get counters and dice. Now some of the new cards, some of the new expansion cards have counters and uh, they'll tell you exactly in the text how to use the counter. So one card will say, when you play this card or when you build this room, uh, add four counters 
okay? And you add these little green uh, chips, at least mine are green. I bought um, bingo clear plastic uh, poker chips off of eBay, okay? I got a big bag of 50 for like $3. And I got them in green because Boss Monster is green, so I, I did, you know, light colors. And, and so it'll say like, you know, place four counters on this card and then uh, with each subsequent turn, take a counter away so the room like diminishes. So that there's a way to use counters. So if there's counters now, find some counters uh, to play with your uh, Boss Monster game. Just know that the expansion packs do have uh, counter cards. They also have dice cards, okay? And the dice cards uh, allow you to actually roll the dice. And again, I went out and I found green gamer's dice, green gamer's dice, so that it would match my boss monster green. And uh, a card will say, uh, it'll roll damage one to six. So like there's a card out there that says, if you blow this room up, when, this, when the character's in this room and you blow the room up, you destroy it, uh, it'll deal one to six damage. And you roll the dice and you deal that damage to that character, so just know going forward, if you get some of these expansion packs, they will require dice and they will require counters. Playmats, wow. Uh, I did another video uh, for playmats as well, but I wanted to at least tell you about the playmat that you can get for Boss Monster. Um, this is for use with Boss Monster, obviously, and it's optimized for two players, two players only. It has gorgeous four color printing, and it's all on neoprene, which is that same material that you, know, you would use with a mouse pad. You could roll it up, it won't uh, stay in that rolled shape. It'll unroll flat and stay flat. It's a, it's a nice, heavy, thick surface. The good, the good to having the playmat, uh, it helps with the organization, okay, and it helps with gameplay. So it allows you to see kind of like the table and how uh, how everything should go. I got it because I play with my 10-year-old son, and so he likes the graphics, he likes the visualization of seeing it. Um, the bad part is uh, it's only for two players, right? There's no single player mat, and uh, you can really only play two player. And I know a lot of people who play Boss Monster with three or four players, okay? So it's only for two players. There's no square for epic heroes, which I thought was strange because, you know, uh, the game's always had epic heroes. Uh, there's no room for tools, and the town area is really small, so you kind of have to keep expanding that area. And then, when the game first came out, it said the discard pile was between rooms and uh, spells. It said the discard pile was between them. But on the playmat, uh, rooms and spells are together. So it's like the people who made the playmat didn't even know how to play the game. So yeah. And then lastly, there is the collector box. The collector box is a carrying case. And I was really looking forward to this because I started getting all the extra expansion packs and I wanted to, you know, put all my stuff together. Uh, the collector box holds 500 boss monster cards and it'll hold them sleeved okay whenever you sleeve your cards it makes them a little bit bigger uh, i don't sleeve my cards i just don't like the slipperiness and i like to shuffle and i i don't i don't shuffle well with sleeves so i don't play with sleeves uh, but you get this and it holds everything it'll also come with 11 new cards so this is also an expansion pack. Uh, you're going to get 11 new cards, uh, and they're all centered around this Game Boy theme. So Game Boy was also popular back in the Pixel days. Uh, they're all that Game Boy wash green. And there's two cool things. So there's a new uh, boss. There's a new boss, Moby. He looks like a Game Boy. And then there's a new type of card called Portable Rooms. Now, portable Rooms um, allow you to play your card, put it down. But since it's portable, you can actually pick it back up and move it to another place. Uh, the other thing you're going to get with your carrying case is label dividers. So all your dividers will tell you, okay, these are tools, you know, these are epic heroes, these are heroes, blah, blah, blah. So um, the other thing it allows me to do is separate out all the cards that you would use for two or more players. So since I only play Boss Monster with two players, okay, I've never played a three player or up game. Um, I take all the cards that would be for three, four, five, six, right? I separate those out and I put those in another section so that I don't ever have to organize those cards in and out again. So that's nice that I can keep my cards together but separate them out with a wall divider. So the good part is it helps keep everything organized. Uh, it's inspired by all those like retro lunch boxes. The bad is it's way too big. It's way too big. There aren't enough cards to fill this up. And when the, the box is way too big, the cards fall down, right? They slide around, everything slides around. You can't really pick it up and carry it by the handle like it should be used because once you do that, then the cards will slide around. What I have to do is I have to pack my box with extra things just to keep the cards together. So I put all my expansion boxes in there. I put my rules on top 
And then I actually got like those, one of those plastic bubbles that comes out of a packing box. And I put that in there to take up the extra space so that my cards don't shift around. But I still like it because it helps keep everything organized. All right, lots of new stuff, lots of great things with Boss Monster. Pick up those expansion packs, pick up that collector box, play mat, get into it, dice, counters, there's so much stuff. Uh, if you've got any questions about anything I talked about, please don't hesitate to comment below. Um, I do reply to comments, and so that's one of the things that I like to do. People ask questions, let's answer those questions, right? Come on, why, why else do you have a YouTube channel if you're not gonna answer people's questions? Uh, so put those comments below, I'll answer, and I'll keep making these videos. Videos. Thank you for subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.